Hello students, today I am going to explain you the 8th chapter of Hornbill. The name of the chapter is Silk Road by Nick Middleton. Introduction of the chapter, the story is written by Nick Middleton. This chapter is about the narrator's journey from slopes of Ravu to Mount Kailash. To complete the Kora, to bid him farewell, Lamu gave him a long sleeve sheepskin coat. He hired Satan's car for his journey and took Daniel along to escort him to Darchen. Summary of the chapter, the protagonist wanted to go to Mount Kailash to complete the Kora. He hired Satan to drive him up to Mount Kailash. As a farewell gift, Lamo gave him a long sleeved sheepskin coat. He took Daniel as his companion till Darche. When they started the journey, Satan took a shortcut to the southwest, which was a direct route to Mount Kailash. They had to cross high mountain passes to reach their destination. Satan assured him that it would be no problem if there would be no snow. They crossed through few gazelles, a herd of wild asses and shepherds tending the flocks. When they reached the hill, they passed dark tents which were home for nomads. He saw a Tibetan mastiff standing outside the tent as a guard. These mastiffs ran after his car as he reached the near the tents. These dogs had large jaws. As soon as they entered the valley, they witnessed snow-capped mountains with rivers flowing which were blocked with ice. When they were riding through the hill, the turns became sharper and roads became bumpier. Satan was driving in third gear. The protagonist could feel the pressure in his ears. He held his nose, snorted to clear the congestion. He checked his wristwatch. They were at 5,210 meters above sea level. They reached their first hurdle, which was a road filled with snow. Satan threw dirt on the snow and drove carefully on that road. They resumed their journey. The protagonist felt his head was hurting. He took a few sips of water from his water bottle. They were still climbing up the hill. They reached at 5,515 meters above sea level. They stopped again and this time the fuel tank hissed when Saturn unscrewed the top. As the petrol was expanding due to low atmospheric pressure, Saturn told them not to smoke around it. Soon in the afternoon, around 2 o'clock, they stopped for lunch. The protagonist headache was gone by now. By late afternoon, they reached a small town called Hor. They reached the east-west highway again. It was the old route from Lhasa to Kashmir. Daniel got off the car and took a lift to Lhasa. The car had a few punctures which worried Satan. He got them fixed and the protagonist waited at a local cafe for Hor of Hor while having a glass of tea. He found Hor a miserable place. After a while, Satan reached to him and they resumed their journey again. At night, around 10.30 pm, they stopped at a guest house in Darchin to spend the night. The protagonist got ill and suffered from nose congestion due to the change in altitude and cold weather. He stayed awake all night. Next morning, Satan took him to Tibetan Medical College where he consulted a Tibetan doctor who gave him a five-day course medicines in a brown envelope. After taking a full day of medicine, the protagonist was feeling good. Satan left him there after assuring his health condition. The protagonist was staying at Darchin. That place had a general store where Chinese secrets, soap and other things were available. In the afternoon, the men gathered at the shabby table to play pool every day. 
women would wash their hair in the narrow street. Darchin had one problem. It had no pilgrims. According to the local people, in the peak season of pilgrimage, the place would be filled with travellers. He met a person in the Darchin's only cafe. His name was Nobu, who was a Tibetan working in Beijing at the Institute of Ethnic Literature of Chinese Academy of Social Science. He came to Darchin to complete the Kora, just like the protagonist. He was fat and found it difficult to walk. The protagonist decided to go on the pilgrimage with him. They hired yaks to carry the luggage. Nobu finally said it is not possible for him. While he collapsed across the table and laughed hilariously. His tummy was also too big. Thank you students for patience listening. This was the short summary of the chapter. For thorough explanation of the chapter, the next video will be soon released. Thank you.